temperature of the body is another very important vital sign for healthcare providers to measure. Body temperature is sometimes increased during an illness. This increase in temperature is called fever. Fever is a natural defense of the body against illnesses caused by organisms such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and many other medical conditions. It is very important to measure the body temperature in a correct way. There are several ways on which this can be accomplished. One of the most common way is the oral temperature, which is done by placing a thermometer in the mouth. This is a preferable technique for adults and children five years and older. Rectal temperature is the best way to measure temperature in children who are less than five years old. There are two types of thermometers, glass thermometer and digital thermometer. Glass thermometer looks like this, and digital thermometer looks like this. It's important to clean the thermometers before and after taking the body temperature using any of the method that we're going to talk about. You can do this by using soap water or using alcohol. Before taking the temperature, first wash your hands with soap and water. Just a little water. That's it. Then rinse with clean water. To clean the glass thermometer with soap, first rub soap in your hands. Then rub the end of the thermometer with your soapy hands. And then rinse with clean water. To clean the digital thermometer with soap, rub soap on your hands, and then rub soap on the probe end part of the thermometer, being careful not to pour water on the electric part of the thermometer. Then rinse with clean water. Another way of cleaning thermometer is by using alcohol. Take a clean cotton swab and soak it with alcohol. You can also use a towel for this. Then rub the end of the thermometer with your cotton ball. If using a glass thermometer, first shake the thermometer. Use sharp downward wrist motion to shake the thermometer. And shake it until it goes way below where the number starts. Glass thermometers should be free of mercury, a potentially harmful chemical. And if your glass thermometer is cracked or broken, it must be thrown away. If you're using a digital thermometer, first Cover the probe end of the thermometer with a disposable cover slip. This is the cover slip. After taking the temperature, clean your thermometer with soap and water or alcohol at, as it was demonstrated before. If you're using a digital thermometer, Remove the disposable cover slip and throw it away. Then clean the probe using soap and water or alcohol. Oral temperature should not be taken within 10 minutes of drinking a hot or cold liquid because this may affect the measurement. To take the oral temperature, first ask the patient to open their mouth and then raise the tongue. Put your thermometer in gently as far back as possible. Then ask them to close the lips. 
make sure they do not bite into the thermometer. If it's a glass thermometer, leave it in for three minutes. And if it's a digital thermometer, just leave it in until it beeps. Normal body temperature with the oral method is 37 degrees centigrade. Another alternative is to take a rectal temperature. This is done in children who are less than 5 years old. Take your thermometer and place a small amount of petroleum jelly on the probe end of the thermometer to ease the insertion. The rectum is the lower part of the bowel and the anus is where the bowel movement passes. To take the rectal temperature, place the child facing down on your lap or on the bed. Then using one hand, gently spread the buttocks. And using the other hand, press into the anus and insert the thermometer gently. Insert it in about two centimeters and do not force it in. For glass thermometer, keep it in for three minutes. And if you're using a digital thermometer, keep it in until it beeps. Once you're finished, record the reading on your thermometer and then clean your thermometer using the methods that were demonstrated before. The normal rectal temperature is 37.5 degrees centigrade. Another way of taking body temperature is using the patient's underarm. This is called axillary temperature. This method is less accurate than any of the other method and should be avoided. One other alternative is to use an electronic ear thermometer to measure body temperature. This is a specific instrument used only for taking ear temperature. Before taking the ear temperature, clean your instrument by using a dry cloth. Make sure you do not get this instrument wet. Then use a disposable cover slip to cover the probe end which will be inserted into the ear. When checking the ear temperature, first cover the tip of the thermometer with a disposable cover slip. Then turn the thermometer on. Then gently pull back on the ear and insert the tip of the thermometer into the ear canal and then press the start button. Keep it until it beeps. The reading will be displayed on the thermometer. The normal ear temperature is 37.5 degrees centigrade. And as I mentioned earlier, the normal oral temperature is 37 degrees centigrade and the normal rectal temperature is 37.5 degrees centigrade. If the oral temperature is above 38 degrees or the rectal temperature is above 38.5 degrees centigrade, it's considered elevated. Fever can cause your body to lose fluids. Therefore, give the patient extra water to prevent dehydration. Avoid heavy clothing or extra bedding as this may raise the temperature even further. If a patient has fever and they appear to be ill, then they should be taken to a healthcare provider so that they may be looked at and further guidance may be provided. When the oral or rectal temperature is 40 degrees or higher, this person needs immediate treatment to reduce the fever. Give this patient paracetamol or ibuprofen to reduce the temperature. You can also wipe the patient's head and body with towels soaked in lukewarm water. Make sure this water is not cold. This will help reduce the body temperature of the patient. If the patient starts shivering, you have to stop that because shivering may cause the temperature to be even more elevated. After that, make sure this patient sees a healthcare provider so that the cause for the fever could be determined.